in the headlines, Andrew President Jonathan places greater interest of national unity before giving appropriate response for 2015 contests. In entertainment, a silent Sherlock Holmes film made in 1916 found in French film archive. In sports, Niger's Minister of Sports, immediate past chairman of Football Association, charged with contempt of court. And in our special reports, we take a look at education, politics and governance, entrepreneurship and entertainment in Nigeria since 1960. Helen, thanks for joining us on the weekend edition of World News on Lovell Plus. My name is Henry Williams. Now we begin with news that the President, Goodluck Jonathan, has said he will place greater interest of national unity, harmony and cohesion before giving appropriate response on the calls by various groups and individuals for him to contest the 2015 elections. He urged Nigerians to offer special prayers for greater security, peace, unity and progress in our dear country, as well as for the peaceful and successful conduct of next year's general elections. He added that Nigerians should be dedicated and commit themselves to piety, honesty, charity and generosity to the less privileged, impartial leadership and true justice for all. The federal government of Nigeria regards education as an instrument for affecting national development. A philosophy on education is based on the development of the individual into a sound and effective citizen. In this special report, our correspondent Blossom Chuku assesses the journey so far since 1960. Nigeria, a sub-Saharan African country with an estimated population of 170 million people, ranks as the 10th largest nation in the world and by far the largest nation in Africa. Nigeria, popularly known as the Giant of Africa, got her independence from British colonial rule on October 1, 1960. Formal Western type of education was introduced by British missionaries in the 1840s. The Anglican Church Missionary Society, CMS, started several schools in the mid-1800s in the early 20th century the government started building primary and secondary schools. Although Nigeria celebrated her independence in 1960, the country experienced civil war in the second half of the 60s, which lasted from 1967 to 1970. Observers believe that the war destroyed much of the nation's educational framework, especially in the then eastern Nigeria. Despite the interruption caused by the civil war, other challenges that have confronted the nation's education sector includes welfare of teachers, maintenance of school facilities, funding of research and training programs, amongst others. Notwithstanding these challenges, the nation's education sector is believed to have made reasonable progress since independence, though there is room for more progress. The culture we have in Africa is not a culture that encourages you to wait for the long term before you can reap the rewards of your efforts. And so it makes it difficult for us to invest in reading. We are talking about education in Nigeria. Man, we just, we just need to go back to our drawing board to rearrange ourselves back. So generally speaking, I think education is improving. With the increasing population of qualified students for university education in Nigeria and the growing needs for scientific and technological developments, setting up more universities became imperative. Currently, there are a total of 104 universities in Nigeria, out of which the federal government owns 27, state governments own 36 universities, and the number of private universities currently stands at 41. The question is, how have they fared? Freely, if anyone else can be left in the dark, not those whose business is to teach and to learn. The federal government of Nigeria regards education as an instrument for effecting national development. Her philosophy on education is based on the development of the individual into, into a sound and effective citizen 
and the provision of equal educational opportunities for all citizens of the nation at the primary, secondary and tertiary levels. The church is not left out of this educational objective by the federal government. The Believer's Love World Nation has taken advantage of several initiatives to enrich different aspects of education in Nigeria. I thought that if we could provide a facility like this, it would help the students and also lift their thinking. When I was here, the facilities were prefabs. And the government tried, did a lot because they wanted the school to start immediately. But those prefabs were not enough. And the fact that the school was in the village didn't mean that the standards of our minds were village limited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinguished honor and privilege to hand over to His Excellency, the Governor of the new state, Comrade Adams and Shelby, the to this auditorium. Though the federal government of Nigeria has adopted education as an instrument for national development, a lot still needs to be done to improve the standards through better funding, regulation and updated teaching methods. Now this will effectively maintain the nation's philosophy on education which is based on the integration of the individual into a sound and effective citizenry. The anniversary celebrations. Nigeria's amalgam of ancient kingdoms, caliphates, empires, and city-states with a long history of organized societies. The name Nigeria was adopted in 1898 to designate the British protectorates on the River Niger. In 1914, the protectorate of northern Nigeria and the colony and protectorate of southern Nigeria were merged by Sir Frederick Lugard. The whole country then became known as a colony and protectorate of Nigeria. In this special report, a political desk correspondent Jimalo Oluogoke takes a look at Nigeria's journey in politics and governance since 1960. Nigeria came under the colonial rule of the British during the second half of the 19th century and the first decade of the 20th century. Nigeria was granted full independence in October 1960 as a federation of three regions, which is the northern, western and eastern, under a constitution that provided for a parliamentary form of government. January of 1966, a group of army officers led by General Johnson Aguiyi Ironsi overthrew the central and regional governments, killed the prime minister, took control of the government and got rid of the federal system of government to replace it with the central government. In July of the same year, a group of northern army officers revolted against the government, killed General Aguiyi Ironsi and appointed the army chief of staff, General Yakubu Gowan, as the head of the new military government. In 1967, Goa moved to split the existing four regions of Nigeria into 12 states. However, the military governor of the eastern region, Colonel Chukwemeka Odume Gojuku, refused to accept division of the eastern region and declared the eastern region an independent republic called Biafra. This led to a civil war between Biafra and the remainder of Nigeria. The war started in June 1967 and continued until Biafra surrendered on January 15, 1970, after over one million people had died. <laughs> 